check that out guys that looks actually so good there she is we're back. Maybe, maybe I'll make episode 60. We'll see. All right, guys. So I know last week I kind of left you guys off with this, which I wasn't sure if I liked the red rug and the red comforter. So I actually went out. I got a gray comforter and a black and white rug to test out and I'll take back whatever I don't like. And I took some pictures and I think I kind of have my decisions made. Not entirely sure yet. I'm not going to show you guys yet either because what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna build my bottom drawer here and paint that gray like I was going to. I'm gonna get my curtains up so we have that done and I'm gonna get my shower curtain up so that's done. So that way we can really like get a good cohesive feel and see how everything looks all put together. This week we really don't have much left to do. We have to build our little storage drawer for back here. Um, I have some paint touch up to do here and there some trim to do in the bathroom, the divider walls, the backs of the divider walls, and the trim up front. Hang the curtains and hang the bathroom curtains. So I guess let's just get right into the week. First thing I'm gonna do for the day is I'm gonna get the second coat on here on these little panels that I did last week. And I'm also gonna work on these panels here. So my dad actually already made the templates and cut them out. So I think I'm gonna match it with the pallet board in the back because I have a bunch of pallet board left over. So I'm just gonna glue it on there and then I'll cut them out when I'm all done. Oh my gosh. I have the pallet board all glued on. I'm just gonna let it dry up for a while now. Uh, probably wait until tomorrow, actually. I have this little cutout as well for right here. I think that was like a control panel for like the back AC unit that's obviously no longer there. We're putting a camera screen there because you guys know I have that rear camera, the backup camera on the back that I can actually use as a full-time rear view mirror. I'm gonna sand this out and paint it white. All right, we're back. So, uh, yeah, yesterday uh, we went out. My mom and I went out to try and find some more bus things. I, I did pick up some curtain rods here that I think are going to work. So I'm going to give these a try now because the other ones just are too, uh, they're, they're not going to work. The way that they're made, it won't work. Why do they put, the way they package things is so frustrating. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to start off with this. So what I did was I got these safety cup hooks. When you go over bumps, I feel like the rod is gonna pop out. So I got the safety cup hooks, so that way the rod here won't pop out. Check that out, guys. That looks actually so good. Sweet, so I'm gonna put another, either one or two uh, little hooks on here because this is like not the most sturdy ever right now. What I'm thinking is I'm gonna do white throughout and then for the back two windows and maybe this back big one, I'm gonna do this dark gray which matches this comforter like almost perfectly. I keep both comforters I decided, I'll, I'll talk about it later because I'm gonna need one anyway for guests and then I can kind of switch out and, you know, kind of switch up the vibe whenever I feel like switching up the vibe. An extra one here, and I put an extra one here, so I just have four of them. But now it doesn't sag or move at all, and we're all set and ready to go. Before I put the next curtain rod up, I'm gonna have to get this thing done. So I think that's what I'm gonna work on next. The cuts made for this stuff, um, I have the one, two, three 
I ran out of plywood. I need one more for this way, and then I'm gonna need one more piece for the face as well. So I'm gonna run to the store, and I'm gonna get this thing done. I got one project board. I also got one full sheet of plywood back there. So that way tomorrow I can just cut that up real quick and get that put in the garage so I can wall in the garage area. I can see the is all made, ignore the loud lawnmower, but the drawer is done. It's a big drawer, dude. It's a, actually a really, really big drawer. So I'm gonna cut out the face of the drawer so that way I can get the strips on there and whatnot and we can get our first coat of polycrylic inside and paint on the outside. done for the night outside. I want to finish off the night getting the third coat of white paint on here and I want to glue these pieces onto my drawer face. Alright guys, it is the next day. We're going to finish up this drawer face. I'm gonna paint this. I'm gonna get the polyacrylic on the inside of the other drawer. There's a couple of things I wanna address here. Um, you guys can probably tell so far already in the video that my energy's just been kinda off. It's Wednesday this week, right? Last week I said that, oh well, I think the title thing is figured out. I haven't received my title in the mail yet from New York and it's a week later from when they said that they sent it. So I don't have my title. So right now I don't have a title at all for the bus which means I can't go, I can't do anything with the bus. The timeline is just really tough to work with uh, to try to make <laughs> the Colorado trip happen. I really hate doing this because I'm not really the kind of person to make excuses. I have been trying so hard to get this done and make this work so I can get to the event in Colorado. It's, it's uh, yeah, as you guys can imagine, it's very, very stressful right now. Like I said, it'll get figured out. All right, we're back out. Uh, first thing we're gonna do out here is get the walls in for the garage. So I'm gonna clean everything out, make a couple of cuts, and then stick them in. I think I'm probably gonna end up painting them at some point as well, either black or gray. But we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna keep moving forward with other stuff. Okay. Such a short time. is up. Bang, we have a little garage. So uh, yeah, with that being done, it's time to move on. I think I have a few things I wanna do up front. I wanna cut out those little pieces that I put the pallet board on the other day. I wanna get those cut out, sanded out, and good to go. Dude, check that out. That looks so good. I'm so, so happy with how that turned out. Look at that. Heck yeah, man. Boom. Both of 
them are done. That looks so good, dude. I love that. Okay, so it's the next day. It's Thursday. I have some other things to attend to today. This morning, I got the third and final coat of paint on the drawer face and the inside of the drawer, the polycrylic. I have a little bit of time actually before I have to do anything else, so I decided I'm gonna cut these little pieces out for the bathroom trim, so at least that'll be done. Check that out. It looks so good, man. It looks so good. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna let that dry up for the day. And then tomorrow I'll come out here, I'll caulk up the seam, you see we have a bit of a seam there, but then transitions into no seam. So we're gonna have to caulk this seam here. And the other seams obviously on the interior are gonna have to get caulked in, but I'm super happy with how that turned out. All right, it's Friday. Happy Friday. Uh, my brother did not completely finish up everything that needs to be done under the bed, but I think I can I think we can work around it. Just like always, there's problems. So he's having quite the time with my diesel heater here. Uh, yeah, there's always something. I have some more caulking work to do in and around the shower basin and whatnot in the bathroom. So I wanna get that completed today so I don't have to worry about that anymore. We really don't have much left, but because of these other minor issues with the water stuff and the heater stuff, and we're not going to be done this week, once again. I know I talked about it briefly earlier in the video, but you guys obviously deserve to know everything because you're part of this journey, you're part of the channel. You guys come here every week to watch the videos and watch me do whatever I'm doing during that week. So you deserve to know all the real, real parts of this journey. And I know a couple of weeks ago, a lot of you guys were super supportive in the comments about um, sharing the real portions of this journey. And this is one of those times where I have to give myself a reality check. I'm a very like go, go, go kind of person, uh, as you guys might have been able to tell through the videos, but I, I get into bouts of like, ugh, and I'm in that right now, today, yesterday, I was in that a, a bit, just because of the reality of this situation where, you know, this Colorado trip was, it, it meant a lot to me, and it was something that I really, 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 really was striving for to try to make it to and, and enjoy that. If I left a week from today, it would give me four days to make it out to the event. And it's a 30 hour, 30 hour drive from here. And it would be my first time ever driving the bus. My first time ever sleeping in the bus, camping in the bus, figuring it out. Don't have my title done. Don't have insurance registration done. Don't have the mechanic work done, don't have my diesel heater finished, don't even have my bedroom finished, you know, like, it's just not... If two weeks ago when I went up to Vermont the first time, the, if the title had worked out the way it was supposed to at that time period, I would probably be able to go. I would definitely be able to go. So it's like, it sucks, because it's, it's not even, like, really in my hands, like, the ball was not in my court for this. It's like I feel like I'm letting so many of you down and I'm letting down a bunch of other people and I'm letting down the director of the event and all of it. You know, it's like I feel like I'm letting people down. I truly believe that everything happens for a reason. And, you know, there's a lot of other events that I can be a part of. There's a lot of things that I can do that I can create. I can create an event if I really want to in like a year down the road or whatever that looks like. Uh, you know, so sometimes things just aren't meant to be when they feel or seem like they should be, but they just aren't meant to be. Enough of all this sappy crap, all this stupid going on and rambling about whatever and feeling bad for myself. I'm not trying to feel bad for myself. I'm not trying to have any of you feel bad for me. All I wanted to say was that I'm sorry personally that I've marketed this event saying that I was going to be there and now it looks like I'm not. And I feel bad about that because I don't want to ever steer any of you wrong you guys understand what i'm saying i hope i hope the whole point of this wasn't just the build the whole point of this is the before i die journey so there's tons of travel still to come and i'm still going to go out to colorado i'm still going out to oregon i'm still going to do california utah 
Arizona. I'm, I'm doing all of it. I'm still doing it all. Let's get into today's work and uh, we'll make it a good day. So I was in the middle of caulking stuff up in the bathroom, going around the uh, the perimeter here and around the bottom underside perimeter. I was getting a nice fat bead of caulk under there, just making sure that there's no gaps uh, for the water to seep into. And it just started coming down out there. So uh, it's 3.45 and it wasn't supposed to start raining until seven. I'm not sure what else I'm gonna be able to get into honestly today. Cause I can't cut wood now out there. It's Saturday. I want to get these divider walls at least like cut out. So I made a template way back when I did the front side of them. I made a template for the back sides of them. So at least that's already ready to go. I also just realized you guys are probably wondering what the deal is with this tarp. We have a lot of rain coming up in the forecast. So my dad and I kind of put this tarp up. We tied it to some trees in the house and whatnot. Just so I kind of have a little bit of a space. <laughs> We have all of our little cutouts ready to go. Without further ado, see you next week. Peace. <laughs>